Some of you have seen my Blackbeard AMV, and I thought it was something fun just to put on the channel. You know, something different. Although it seems I used him for the tournament rewards, that's not the case. I actually used a similar team, but I thought it would be fun to tease. However, in this video, we are discussing Jump Force events, and is it worth getting sweaty over every time? Next. Ayo hey, guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bring you yet another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you stick around, watch a few of my videos, and hey, maybe you'll subscribe today. Anyway, so guys, I've been reading all the comments from the past couple gameplay videos on how some of you guys are really frustrated participating in these events. Every time a new event comes around, I say the same thing to you guys every time. Make sure to give it a day or two before jumping in. I say that to protect you, not to put you at a disadvantage with points. In the last tournament battle event, I played each class. In each class, the final match was a cheese fest. Players guard break cheesing, r 3 and stuff that the community hates just to get that win. This is partially why I stopped playing ranked matches because the win doesn't mean as much to me as it does to my opponent. Now, winning is important. And I'm not saying everyone has to play like a good boy, but having that gamer integrity kick in every now and then doesn't hurt. The championship rounds of the tournament battle event were all awful matches. Plenty of guard break cheesers and CACs running around for the sake of this Mr. Satan costume. I didn't give a damn. I wasn't going to miss this opportunity to obtain the outfit for the second time. I missed out the first time and I wasn't going to fail this time. I can imagine the other players feeling the exact same way. This is an issue due to Spike Chunsoft forcing players into PvP bouts just to get a reward. There's no other way to get these rewards except having to put yourself through these sort of frustrating matches. The only time I can remember that it's not so sweaty is when we're playing Arena Battle event, and it's not the first two days. Arena Battle happens to be my favorite because it's still competitive, but not as cutthroat as tournament event. In this clip, the CAC player did everything in his power to guard break cheese me the entire match. Did I find enjoyment? No. But he had the desperation written all over his face. If we're being honest with ourselves, are these outfits worth getting sweaty over? Using broken tactics to get them rank points, is it worth it? Does playing sweaty on a smurf account help the community in any way? Those are questions I would love to hear answered by you guys. The PvP aspect of the game is pretty much all we have at this point, and all the air quote top players are making the game a complete mess more than it already is. I'm begging Spike Chonsoft to please, please update the shop. PvE players have it hard enough that they don't even get a chance to get the outfit, and the shop is super outdated. So down in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on people playing sweaty in these events? Is it justified? Or is it just plain silly? As always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.